Okay, so in this case we've got a slow-growing tumor and it grows according to this formula, m equals a e to the kt. I guess it's growing, so it has some initial value and it's growing. It's slow growing, so it's going to have a very flat sort of graph. Um, we don't need to draw the graph, but it's sometimes useful to do that. So that's our time in weeks. And this is the size of the tumor in milligrams. Okay, so the, the thing we're told is the mass of the tumor doubles every 100 weeks. So the first part is find k, so we know that when t is 100, then the mass is doubled. So in other words, um, e to the k times 100 equals 2. Okay, easy enough to plug into calculator, 0 0.006931, something like that. Um, that's our answer, so k to oh, four significant figures, so let's stop there. 6931. Okay, 25-year-old patient was diagnosed with a similar tu tumor. The mass of the tumor is estimated to be 120, and it's operable only when it reaches a mass of 200. So when will it be operable? So what we've got is on this graph here, the 25-year-old doesn't really seem to make any, it's not important here. So we start with 120, and you can only operate on it when it gets up to 200. Okay, so what's this value of t? Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, so 200 equals 120 times e to the, you know, that number there, 6931t. And solve for t, and you get 73.7. Uh, what are we talking about here? Weeks. When will the tumor be operable? So after, um, okay, let's say after. 74 weeks. Okay, now the last part of the question, actually this B part 1 and 2, says, how long has the tumour been growing in the patient's body? So this is a really interesting one because this never goes to zero because exponential functions can never go to zero. So um, at some point, way back here, I guess we can say that it was so low that it doesn't matter, um, so it's equivalent to zero. But the other way of looking at it is that this is a 25-year-old patient. So if he's 25 years, um, multiply that by 52 weeks in a year, and he's been alive for 1,300 weeks. So we can figure out whether he or she um, had the tumour, or how big the tumour was when he was born. Um, it'll, it'll never be zero, but if it's small enough, we could say, uh, if it's big enough, we could say he had it at birth. If it's really, really, really small, we could say that he didn't have it at birth, and we'd have to go back to find out um, what number would be reasonable. But let's, let's do this one first. So in this case, we know that um, it's 120 now, and we don't know what the original value is, but we know that 00693 times how many weeks? 1300 weeks. If we solve that, we get a value of A of 0 0.0147 what are we talking about? milligrams. Okay, so I actually don't know whether this is significant or not. Um, I mean, it's small, but you know, some of these medical values are reasonably small. So we could say um, that given that that was the um, tumour at the time of his birth, the size of tumour, we could say, yeah, look, he's had it since he was born. Okay, um, explain clearly how you arrived at the answer. So I'd say that. And the other way of looking at it is to do it the other way around. You could say that it's 120 now, and um, what initial value would make it reasonable? So um, now if you say that one milligram was the smaller size of a tumour, then it would be e to the 0 0.00693 times t, um, and you'd solve that to find out what the value is. Um, I think this is, I think 0 0.00147 is big enough, so we'd say yes, had it since birth. Um, if this turned out to be a really, really tiny number, then you'd solve it this way as well, and then figure out how, how many weeks back you'd have to go um, for the tumour to be, you know, um, to be small enough. 
but I'm happy with this. I'd say we had his, the, the patient had his birth. Not happy with it, but um, uh, I think that's the answer.